Hi teachers, today I'm going to show you a really easy way to record your screen using Screencastify. This is what I use for tutorials to be able to record my screen as I'm talking and I think you'd find this very useful for lessons or to record your screen to give your students visual instructions. Before I continue, I want to remind you to subscribe to my channel for more teacher tech tutorials. Don't forget to like this video and leave me a comment with any questions. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is Google Screencastify Chrome extension. Go ahead and click on it. You're going to click on Add to Chrome. And then you're going to click on Add Extension. Once you do that, you're going to see the pink Screencastify icon arrow on the top and it will be accessible anytime you want to use it on your screen. If you don't see it, click on the puzzle on this extension bar and you'll be able to pin it. Go ahead and click on that icon for Screencastify and when you click on that, you're going to see this box and this will give you all of your options. You can record just one browser, your whole desktop, or webcam only if you want to do a video of just yourself. Um, enable your microphone. If you're going to attach another microphone to your desktop, go ahead and select it here and it'll give you the options that you have available. And you can also have the option of turning on a webcam so it shows a small video on a corner of you talking as you're recording your screen. There's more options here. Um, you can also choose a countdown and I strongly recommend that you enable the drawing tools um, as you're presenting. When you click on record, you're going to see the box in the bottom pop up and you're also going to see the um, option here for you to click on. Make sure you click on that before um, you click share. It'll also ask you if you want to um, click on an application window. So once you're ready, you're going to see the timer as soon as you click on share. So once you start recording, you're going to see these drawing tools and I like using them to make sure that my students really see a detail that I'm trying to explain um, or I want to point out something in my in my web page. So here this one's one of my favorites the focus mouse and the shortcut would be option at option plus F and what it does is if I want to show my students something that I want them to focus on it'll shadow that and it'll focus on that one circle. Another option you can do, um, you can choose is the highlight clicks. So anytime you're going to click on something, it shows that red circle. That way students can really see what you're pointing at and what you're clicking on. So those are very useful. And you can also draw with a pen and choose your color. For example, if I want to tell my students, you're going to click right here on this folder to be able to access your homework um, and you can erase it as well. So one example of what you can do is show your students how to maneuver around your Schoology course, um, show them where you want them to click and you would show them from their point of view um, or preview the page so that it looks the way they would see it. Here I want to show them how to use this assessment. Um, it's the first time that the students would be using this assessment um, in this type. So I want to go ahead and go through the steps of what my expectations are. So this is the highlight image question type from the Schoology assessments. And it would, I would show my students here the buttons and what they each do and how they have a choice for different colors whenever they um, whenever they do this handout. And here it's a multiplication handout with a number line. I just quickly added the screenshot to this assessment. And my expectation would be for them to show the hops on the number line to represent that multiplication. So for example, here I want two hops of three. And I would let them know how to go ahead and draw the answer here. And if I want to um, clear it, I would click here. Or if I want to undo that last part so that I can rewrite it, I would demonstrate that for them. I would show them how to save and I would record a video for them that way. 
whenever you finish the recording, you would simply go ahead and click back on that icon and stop the recording by clicking stop, or you can also choose um, the garbage icon if you want to erase it and start over. Here you will see that you can go ahead and add a title um, to your demonstration and it'll automatically save to your Google Drive. So if you have your Google Drive connected, um, you can save it there. You can copy a shareable link. You can upload it to publish it to YouTube or share it to your Google Classroom. You can get an embedded code or you can just download it as an MP4. Um, so there's many options of what you can do. For the free version, I will say, make sure you stay under five minutes. You can have as many videos as you want, but for the free version, you can only do five minutes. I hope this video helped you learn how to record your screen. I love using Screencastify. You can create the videos in different forms and share them in many ways. Don't forget to subscribe because on my next video, I'll be showing you how to create a link that others can use to record and submit videos to you without even needing to download the extension. Thank you so much for watching and let me know if you have any questions.